Pretty amazing, isn't it? How water touches everything in our lives. The food we grow, our city and rural landscapes, our families, people at work and play, relaxing and enjoying the bounty nature provides. Amazing in all its forms, from falling snow in cold winters to flowing rivers in hot summers, allowing us to feed, sustain, and provide services to people around the world. All of us, regardless of age, young or old, from every culture and place and time, are supported, fed, and nurtured by one great gift, one common resource, water. How we use and manage our water supply is critical to our well-being and our way of life. We depend on water. It's central to our complex economic relationships with energy, recreation, irrigation, transportation, industry, and flood control. We rely on it for how we live at home. It's essential to the web of life that sustains our culture, our communities, and our standard of living. This is the story of how dams and reservoirs help us use this precious resource. Water forms our world. In fact, it covers more than 70% of the Earth's surface. 97% of this water can be found in oceans and seas. Another 2% can be found in glaciers and polar ice caps. Less than 1% is fresh water that can be found in rivers and streams or beneath the Earth's surface. It is this 1% that we humans and most other land-based species depend on for survival. Little wonder then that civilizations throughout time have nurtured and managed their water supply by creating dams, reservoirs, and canals. Dams are structures built across or next to rivers and streams to store and regulate the flow of water. Dams can be made of rock, timber, earth, or concrete, and have been around for a long time. The Chinese built dams to irrigate fields 6,000 years ago. The Egyptians and Greeks began grinding grain with water wheels 4,000 years ago. The Andean civilizations built complex canals and storage systems to provide the water needed to sustain them. Today, water needs are even more critical. The United Nations is promoting the wise and efficient use of water, along with all renewable resources, including hydropower, as an international priority. Globally, water use has increased at twice the rate of population growth over the last century. At the same time, there are nearly 1.7 billion people without electricity. Dams and reservoirs address these needs by efficiently storing and regulating water for multiple uses. With multiple uses come diverse benefits that can be tapped now or in the future. It all begins with the water cycle, also called the hydrologic cycle. Water from the oceans is warmed by the sun. Evaporation carries this water into the air where it forms into clouds, carrying its precious cargo of moisture, eventually releasing it as rain or snow. Rivers, lakes, and streams are nature's way of collecting water from the hydrologic cycle and directing it back to the ocean for the cycle to begin again. Along the way, large and small dams make sure that water is available for use when and where we need it. Of the nearly 80,000 dams in the United States, 90% are small local projects whose benefits include some combination of water supply, flood control, power generation, irrigation, recreation, or fish and wildlife habitat. A quick tour of the few projects around the country can give you a sense of the scale, the influence, and the importance of dams in our daily lives. From the largest to the smallest dams and reservoirs, our daily lives receive the benefits of these projects. In the Southwest during the last century, the population grew from a few thousand people to millions of people. 
In Texas, the Wesley Seal Dam and Lake Corpus Christi Reservoir store and release water for domestic use. About 50% of Corpus Christi's 300,000 residents receive nearly 130 million gallons of water from this project per day. Across the country, large and small projects like this provide a vital service, a reliable, safe water supply for drinking and other uses. Located on the Colorado River near Las Vegas is the majestic, multiple-purpose Hoover Dam. Built in the 1930s, it rises 725 feet and consists of enough concrete to build a highway from San Francisco to New York. 28 million acre-feet of life-giving water is stored in its reservoir, Lake Mead, providing irrigation for thousands of acres of farmland, drinking water for cities, and flood control for downstream communities. Hoover Dam also generates enough electricity to meet the needs of 1.3 million homes. Surprisingly, only 3% of the nation's dams are needed to produce about 10% of our nation's electricity. That's enough power for all the residential homes in California, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Texas making hydropower America's largest source of clean, renewable electricity that does not pollute the air by burning fossil fuels. On the Arizona and California border, look for the multipurpose Parker Dam. From Parker, canals carry 1.5 million acre feet of water to central Arizona each year. Each acre foot can meet the needs of a family of five for one year. The water flows inland more than 330 miles and passes through Phoenix as it makes its way to Tucson, providing more than 60% of Arizona's water supply. Water from here also travels west nearly 350 miles to serve communities in Southern California. Western water projects also help turn deserts into agricultural wonders, providing jobs and commerce for developing communities. California alone supplies close to 50% of the nation's fresh fruit and vegetables, nearly all from irrigated fields. Meanwhile, across the country, dams and locks on the Mississippi River support an elaborate navigation system. 70% of America's grain exports are barged along the Mississippi River to the Gulf of Mexico. This feat is accomplished by river traffic moving through a series of locks. These locks lift or lower boats and barges to match the river's up or downstream water level. In essence, engineers have created an efficient staircase to support river transportation. The old river control structure in New Orleans also helps manage the flow of the Mississippi protecting against flooding and assuring a reliable supply of drinking water for the community. Across the Rockies in Washington State, the largest hydropower plant in North America sits on the upper Columbia River. Grand Coulee Dam is the key facility in a multi-benefit project for the entire Pacific Northwest. At Grand Coulee, enough electricity is generated to meet the needs of four million homes and supplies an irrigation system that cultivated more than a half million acres of high desert and now produces apples, potatoes, alfalfa, and 55 other crops. The Columbia River also moves these crops to market efficiently. More than $13 billion worth of food and goods are barged through eight locks and dams on the lower Columbia River. Each barge delivers the equivalent of 15 rail cars or 60 semi-trucks worth of goods. Grand Coulee's water management efforts are coordinated with other dams and are key to preventing flooding as far downstream as Portland, Oregon, more than 300 miles away. Parks and visiting areas around dams also offer scenic shorelines and many kinds of recreation opportunities. Fishing, camping, and boating with the family or testing one's balance. Across this country, dams like these work with the cycles of nature every day, benefiting millions of people and helping our economy and communities remain healthy and strong. These are just some of the benefits we enjoy from dams. But there are other life forms that need rivers to survive. And to preserve their survival requires environmental commitment, fish migration, 
water quality, and habitat conditions are all part and parcel of the complex ecology of living with dams and Mother Nature. Balancing these many diverse needs and environmental interests requires the efforts of thousands of people, multiple agencies, and millions of dollars each year. These efforts are guided by laws such as the Clean Water Act and the Endangered Species Act. The public, industry, and other non-government groups work with federal, tribal, and local agencies to assist these efforts. Choices for minimizing effects are numerous. Fish ladders and bypass systems assist migrating fish on their journey to spawn and help young fish find their way downstream. Stream restoration projects help preserve water quality. Habitat development provides nesting opportunities for geese, ducks, and other migratory birds and waterfowl, illustrating how dams can provide important environmental investments with long-term benefits. Mother Nature, though, has a mind of her own. Droughts and floods are part of our lives. Reservoirs help sustain a balance. They store water for multiple uses in times of need, like in a drought, or when flooding occurs. Reservoirs can help stem the flow of rushing water by storing it, thus protecting communities from danger. Mount Morris Dam in New York State stands like a sentry, protecting the city of Rochester from the torrent of water that has periodically destroyed property and taken lives. In 1972, Tropical Storm Agnes dumped almost 18 inches of rain into the Genesee River Valley. As Mount Morris's reservoir filled to 96% of capacity, $210 million in flood damage was prevented. Since its completion in 1952, estimates are that more than one billion dollars in flood damages were avoided by the wise operation of this reservoir. Unpredictable acts of nature like these can seriously test the limits of dams and their reservoirs. The thousands, sometimes millions of gallons of water in reservoirs may seem passive to the naked eye. But it's also true that if water were to be released suddenly, without control, it could cause catastrophic flooding, causing property damage and endangering people downstream. Thankfully, in today's world, failures of this sort are very, very rare. And there are good reasons for that. Engineers use the highest standards during the design and construction of dams. These standards ensure that as time passes, reservoirs and dams will continue to serve us for many generations. Maintenance and monitoring is continuous with owners and government agencies and private organizations providing regular inspections. And since 9-11, security has been stepped up even further. The United States Society on Dams was created to bring professionals together to exchange information on the latest technological advances. Dam designers, engineers, contractors, geologists, environmental specialists, and operators are collectively exploring ways to assure top performance of our reservoirs and dams. It's a team effort with benefits for everyone. Reservoirs and dams in today's world are built and maintained with safety as a top priority, providing the benefits our diverse society needs by working with and respecting nature's balance. Because of reservoirs and dams, fruit eaten for breakfast in New York may have come from an orchard in Washington or California, irrigated with water carried in canals through pumps powered by electricity. The bread we eat, baked with wheat, transported on barges down the Mississippi or Columbia rivers. Your drinking and bathing water, supplied by reservoirs, feeding canals and aqueducts, passing through valleys, perhaps across several state lines. Most of the dams are small, much smaller than the ones just shown. But collectively, their importance to our communities is huge. The task of providing water for multiple uses has grown into an extremely complex and sometimes controversial undertaking. Globally, the demand for water, particularly clean water, continues to increase. Today, environmental concerns, the interest of local populations, and changing social, political, and economic values have led to a new focus on our water resource projects. Supplying water for current and future needs will continue to impact the environment. Now, 
Through good engineering, projects can be more environmentally sensitive while at the same time more socially and financially responsible. Part of this responsibility is to ensure that dams are safe, that through regular dam inspections and emergency action plans, public safety can be assured for future generations. The simple fact remains, dams are essential to our lives. To sustain ourselves, our societies, our cultures, we must use our water resources wisely, more efficiently, with more care, and particularly with a focused awareness of water's relationship to all life. Water is needed for everything we do in our society. Dams and reservoirs help make life possible by providing us with water when and where we need it in today's world.